Hi guys, and welcome to another video from me, Mike, aka Damn Profit. Now, one of the things I learned today, and I'm not going to claim this, I'm just going to say this was a video I found on YouTube. I can't credit the maker of the video because I can't remember who it was. I was just so excited, really, in all honesty, at finding this cool thing. So... It seems as though someone has unlocked a Rise of Iron location on Mars at the Tenebrous Tunnels mission. So, I'm going to show you where to go and what to do. Mm, it's not really very hard to get there, but there is, there is some cool things to see and find while you're there. So, the let's just crack on with it. I'm just going to load in. Now, this requires you to go a different way than the actual mission itself. So, uh, really, just sit back, watch, and enjoy, and we'll show you how to do this mission. So, let me just talk you through it first of all. The Rise Vine is launching on the 20th of September, if you've been living under a rock. Now, when you load into the mission, you'll see that you're here, on Mars, uh, heading towards the tunnel section of the off-world transit system. What you want to do is get your bike out and go completely the opposite way towards the Dust Palace. Now, it seems quite strange that in a mission where you need to go one way, you actually go the other, but in typical Bungie style, it is unlocking, so things unlock when you're not meant to be going there. So, there's the Dust Palace, you head up the hill, now the trick is with this that I found is don't stop. Don't stop running. Don't stop for anything. Now you can use your bike to go through here, but I just found it was just as quick to go through on foot. So here we are, we're at Clovis Bray uh, Research Facility. And this is where obviously, if for any of you were Destiny Law fans, this is where they developed the Zenos, and also they did some engineering builds. It is suspected that the War Mines of Earth's defense system was built on in these very engineering halls. So don't stop running. Uh, the place that you're heading for is we're basically going up to the top. So don't worry about trying to fight things off and. Whoa, he says. Right, that's not gone to plan. So, let's try it again. And naturally... We are trying, in all honesty. He says I can't do it. I've done it three times today, already. And now I can't do it because I'm recording, isn't it? So look, look the, the trick is is to go right up here. Now, I could forward wind through the video, but, you know, we're all going to go through the same thing. Now, but if you're quick enough, you'll get past these guys, or otherwise you'll get clobbered by them as you're trying to get through. Don't worry, there'll be a few signs, and we'll try stuff, and we'll jump about, and we'll shoot you, yeah, but don't worry, just get through it. Head up towards the Dust Palace. Now, where we're going to is the Cortex, which, for those of you that know the missions, uh, that is where you fight the Scion Fleurs. Now, don't stop. Like I said, you know, the, I'm going to show you this in real time. Now, like I said, you know, some people I've, on the videos I've watched have forward winded through this bit, but I just want to show you how quick and simple it is to get to where we're going. Now, uh, this bit's usually a bit tricky because the two guys with shields know they've been kind today and they've got out the way. So, we're heading up to where you fight the Scion Flares. Now, you don't have to go in and do anything exceptional. All you just need to do is load it to where in the bottom... As you'll see in the bottom corner, it says the Cortex Meridian Bay Mars. So, as you see, nothing's really happening. No one's here. So, what we need to do now is go all the way back. Not to the beginning, but where we first experienced... Uh, where the guys with shields would knock me down. They bash me about a bit. So, like I said, don't stop running. There's no need. We're not here to fight enemies. We are here to simply get back to the location I'm just about to show you. So, back down the stairs. Don't stop. No need. He says, doing a bit of a slide and slowing down too much. Keep going. Keep going down. 
Now, once you're back into this area, right, what you ought to do is just bypass all the enemies again, run back into this corner over here, jump off the edge, right, attract some scion floors, don't worry, you're not bothered. You get on this pipe and kneel. Now you'll know you can see down there, there's a ground floor right there. Now what you've got to do here, now this sometimes is the tricky bit. You've got to die. I know it sounds really strange, in most videos you don't even get told that, but today we have to die. We have to scions, have to kill us. So and in normal, typical sense, it's the one time that you want to be killed and no one is willing to shoot you. Now, it might take a bit of time, but look, if you just hold your ground, they'll work out where you are, and then you'll get a couple of guys that will come in and they'll just pep you. Now, don't worry about moving too much, because all that's happening is you're just flinching under fire. So just stay there. And usually if you look down, because you're not looking at them, They'll, like, look. Go on, shoot me. Go on, shoot me. Look. And this is usually the bit of the difficulty. This is the hardest bit of this mission. Is just getting the Scions to actually shoot you. And actually do some damage. Here we go. There's one more. There we go. Come on. Keep shooting. I want you to shoot me. Isn't it just the way? Isn't it just the way that when all you need to happen is for something to shoot you and kill you, it won't do it. Nope. Here we go. <laughs> What's going on here? Good clean it look. Come on. Come on. Right. So this is the trick. So you want you in here. So get your energy right down. Can't even do the job properly. Come on. Come on, man. Get out from behind me, man. So the trick is, is to get behind here and they'll shoot you. Now, hopefully, they'll shoot you. And no, they don't. Isn't it always the way? ourselves to the point where our health is about to diminish. No! No, 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 no. This is not right. Come on. <laughs> now I have done this plenty of times today and my time to death has not been hard here we go look he steps out doesn't shoot come on keep coming so hopefully we might happen now here we go So the trick is that once you've loaded up the Cortex at the, at the beginning, and as long as you're kneeling in this little bit here, what will happen now? He says. 
is you should get peppered with bullets and you'll die. And off the back end of when you die is where the surprise comes in. But the trick is, is to be on top of that pipe there, you'll die eventually. You can see that just how, and you respawn in here. So, I'd never seen this place before, never had any idea what it was. Uh, I take it that what's going to happen is, is that you're going to end up putting something in here, and it will activate a machine, obviously activate this central computer, whether this is a data bank or knowledge base or whatever. Uh, but just to prove that we are somewhere new, uh, where is it? There is a door. There we go. We are on the Clovis Bray Exoscience Division. And Exos, as we know, are our wonderful little robot chappies. That is me when I've not got my helmet on. Uh, but look, it's a really, it's a really simple area. There seems to be two enemy entrance points. One here, and one over there. I take it that there's going to be some activation of the lift. Uh, so where we died was over here. So this is below. I think it's above or below. I think we're above. We're above the lift that we that we died of. So you're obviously going to come up in a lift, and then this is going to take you into here, uh, which will lead you to this area. Uh, and as we said, Clovis Bray Exo Science Division. Uh, what is there in here to get? Well. Stuff that you can pick up right now, if you go where the monitor is, with the funny colours on and the jiggling pattern, if you go over to this machine over here, now I can't show you on this one because I've already collected it, but about here is a ghost, and it is the Clovis Bray uh, Ghost 2. Now if you jump up here, you'll see what, we, what I believe will be the next calcified fragment hunt, which is fragment of... Siva, Siva, or whatever it is, or however it's pronounced. So there's a secret panel. So I suspect we're going to be collecting those. And Destiny's big number is 50 for collectible hidden items. So that's pretty much it. There's a ghost, some of that. It doesn't matter about this fragment. You can collect it. It does absolutely nothing. Uh, I'll show you. There you go. It's gone, but you just come back here once you reset and come back down. It's there again. Obviously, only activates on Rise of Iron, uh, and that's pretty much it. It looks like a pretty cool area. I think we've all noticed, and I've seen some feedback on Reddit that there is uh, some graining effect happening on both PS4 and Xbox One. You can see. I don't know if you can see the quality of the image, but there's like a uh, almost like a mist that's happening that really causes no end of problems. Uh, it just it just looks wrong. It looks like you're playing an old game, and, and it's more noticeable that if you go behind one of these tanks and look up, it's really grainy, and you know it just doesn't look finished. But then again, it might not be finished. So that's it, really. That's the new area. Uh, the the other big announcement that came today is tomorrow. There's going to be an MLG uh, professional match between two professional teams. That is going to be broadcast at 1 p.m. Uh, US time. Uh, that's going to be 8 p.m. UK time. And that will, uh, once that match is finished, private matches are supposed to go live for all players on all platforms. So, another little pre release from Bungie for everyone. And all that leaves me to say is I hope you can have a, now that you've seen the video, it's really easy to do. There's no way of getting out, you just go exit the, the Tenebris Tunnels mission and just go back to orbit. But you get a new ghost, you can't actually see the grimoire from the ghost because it's not actually in the database for grimoire yet. But you've already collected it which means you'll pre-unlock the card. Uh, and if not you can just come down here and unlock it again because now you know this will be one of the missions. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more, check out www.damnprofit.com. I'm always streaming all the time on Twitch, YouTube, Beam, and Hitbox, so you can find me under Damn Profit. And uh, all that leaves me to say is, if you've enjoyed the video, hit like, hit follow. There's plenty more stuff like this where where it comes from, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you out in the fields. So all that leaves me to say, guys, is catch you later.